We bless your holy name. 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 We bless his holy name. Come on, I said we bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Isn't God wonderful? Good morning. We bless his holy name. Dr. Nikisha, God bless you, Sister Caro, Sister Stacy. My God. Wall of prayer. The wall of prayer. God bless you. I'm trying to get a name. Sister Akilah, God bless you. Oh, he's fine. You know, he after we finished prayer, I gave him to you know my wife. She fed him and then I put him to sleep. You know, so he's he's fine. You know, I just honestly my mind has just changed, you understand? And watching him and, and looking at him, I, I'm just trying to put myself in a position that I can leave something for him. Do you understand what I'm saying? I can leave something for him to, to you know, I try to catch their names, you know, on the, D Gibson, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Gip, is it Gibson? Gibson, Gibson. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your names wrong, you forgive me. So, you know, I just really want to uh, be able to, you know, do the right things. Brother Samuel, God bless you. In Jesus' name, Yolande from Minnesota. Okay, DJ. Sounds like a German name, or no? Yes, it's a Carol, it does. Brother Rod, God bless you. Brother Rod, I never heard from your guy, you know. Maybe he came in, I don't know. But it's okay, it's fine. It's good. Hallelujah. Jimmy, God bless you. We bless this name. Hallelujah. Awesome God, mighty God, highly exalted, my God, highly exalted, deserving of all the praise, Sister Debbie from Maryland, deserving of all the praise, my God, where will we be without him? Where will we go without him? He is magnificent. He is truly perfect. Ah, he is perfect in all of his ways. His ways, what is now, are superior to our ways. His thoughts are superior to any thought that we can ever have. That is the God that we serve. That is the God that we serve. That is the God that we serve. Time, Sister Farah, is not running away from us. Purpose is not running away from us. Destiny is not running away from us. My God, we are in the right place. At the right time. Are you hearing me? That's the reason why, well, just now, you came out of your mother's womb at the right time. That is why, well, just now, either you're the firstborn, second, or third. Listen to me. It is by divine appointment. This is an appointment that wasn't orchestrated by your mother. This is an appointment that was an orchestration by your daddy. You know, just because they met. See, it was orchestrated by God. Because guess what? He had you in mind. He had you in mind because an app was being designed that he was going to use to get you into a place of prayer. My God. When you make up your mind that what is that this life that you live is not about you. How many of you used to go to children's school? You know, like Sunday school. We used to sing this song. I don't know. Listen to me. Don't laugh, okay? Because some of you yesterday, I shared my testimony, Sister Mary. Sister Sherry, you, you was laughing at me. Listen to the song. I don't know if you know. It's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. It's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. I think it's like a Baptist song. I don't know if you know that song. Oh, thank you. You know it? In me, Jesus is alive in me. I used to go to, you know, I used to, go to a Baptist church when I was growing up in my local area. It's no longer bad Christ. And listen. Imagine if our musicians would start writing songs like these instead of the song that glorify material things and self. It's no longer I that live, but Christ that lives in me. So what is now, Sister Quarrel? If Christ is living in me and I check the Bible, one thing that I can never say about Christ is he was never selfish. So if he's living in me, Jesus is alive in me. 
It's no longer right that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. Sister Carol, if it's no longer me, if it's not Brother Albert, if it's not Carol, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's true. Sister Val said, he must increase. Guess what? I don't even have, I don't want to exist no more. See, if, if I decrease, then, you know, Sister, you know, Sister Valsa, then every now and again, my decreasing self want to increase. Balabas, Sister, you know, Sister Valsa, that's, 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 that's one part, you know, that when it comes to me, I would rather I don't exist, that he takes full control over this vessel, because I don't trust myself, that even in my decreasing self, I might feel, that I'm far superior or important than I ought to be. So I would rather, Sister Vasa, if I don't exist. But he just grabs a hold of this vessel and does or do as he pleases. Sister Stacy, I read that scripture before Sister Vasa and I said, God, I know, you know, it sounds good, but you know, me, I don't trust myself, Sister uh, Dr. Nikisha. I, I don't know about you. Some of you, you can, your decreased self might not try to rise up. You understand? It's okay, you've gone further than me. Just pray for me. But I know myself. Do you understand? And I know with my with my decreased self, every now and again I might just want to act like I'm important. I might act like you know I'm superior. So I said, God, don't even decrease me, just get rid of me and take control. Just just take control. Just take full control, take full custody. Of this vessel. If, if, if from the pew to the pulpit. If this will be the cry and the prayer of the saints. Then trust me. Trust me. Sister Cheryl. We will have no issues. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. If he will increase. But guess what? I will decrease. I would I would cease to exist. See, <laughs> uh, was it who was it? Was it Brother Enoch that the Bible says that he walked with God and he was not? Was that him? You know, I just you know, I just want to make sure. Okay, that was him, right? Okay. Uh, uh, he walked with him. And he was not. He walked with him. What is now? He was so much into God. And God was so much into him. What is now? That he ceased to exist. I want to get to that place, folk. I want to listen. I have, I've had this slip. There's just some stuff that's going on in Ghana. You know, Sister Cheryl, you know, the whole, it's just a lot, a lot of confusing stuff, you know, in the charismatic, you know, Pentecostal, prophetic, whatever ministry. You see what I'm saying? And I've just been trying to, you know, watch the news and watch the, and see, and, and see what's going on. And it's only the 5th or the 6th of January. Got to get to that place. We got to get to that place where we know that it's no longer about us. But it's about Christ. And if he lives in us, then what just now? We can manifest and materialize what it is that he's placed on the inside of us. It's no longer us. Listen to me. The first, the first five, six days of this, I've just been sitting down, you know, just laying on the bed and saying, God, tell me or give me the help that I need. You know, after this prayer, I'm making my way to have a meeting concerning our project, the farming project. Okay, uh, because you know we've done so much. You know, remember we started last year. We've done so much, and now the harvest has come. So we wanna, we, you know, they, they want me to come and tell them what it is that we should be doing, the vision, or going forward this year. And listen to me. I told you that all I see is mechanized farming. I see mechanized farming. I see us, you know, growing and then processing what we've grown. He, Basha, I felt that. Bibosha, zebro sibidabiosha, vabra. I felt that. We grow and we process what we have grown. All this praying that we're doing is not going to be in vain. We're not.
not gonna it's not gonna be in vain we're going to see the manifestation it's not going to be in vain it's going it's not going to be in vain zobro sebe kaba we need wisdom this morning we need wisdom this hour sister judith i believe you're in netherlands right i think i got your message you know when i get to london or when i'm coming to london i think i'll give you a call you know, netherlands is not too far from london i guess it's only about one hour or an hour and a half away just 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 stay in that posture of prayer everything has a time okay i've been seeing your messages everything has a time just stay in that posture of prayer and at the right time the lord will make the way in the mighty name of jesus Bosheba, zebro sibidibiyosha come on vibro siba yes only one hour it's not too far okay so let's just stay prayerful let god make the connections when the atmosphere is conducive then god will release us to come together is that okay in jesus mighty name come on i want us to open up our mouths let's thank him six days six days into the new year right six days just want to make sure that i'm getting my bearings right is it six days into the new year uh and you and i are here you know some people have not made it you know that some people made it to the first some people made it to the second. Some people this morning will not wake up. The alarm will still be going off. But they won't make it. They haven't made it. But you and I are still here. Yes, Lord. We've got a lot to thank him for. We've got a lot to praise him for. We've got a lot to rejoice and be glad about. My God, we have a lot to be grateful for. And listen to me, like I told you, since time, see, any time, what is now, he gets ready to propel you into a place of greatness. He calls you and he places something on the inside of you. I know it's God. God, you know, before we came on, God put something in my spirit and I just came on. I want us to pray for two seconds. Come on, begin to open up your mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we bless your name. Valava, Sokabasia. Zebro shatalalaba, sibidi biosha, lebro sikabra sibi, bro sebe kaba, soto vosia, labro sebe de biosha, zebro sheben de biosha balalabasia, vokaba sibi, bro sikabrandi kabasia, zebro sebe de biosha. Okay, sorry. Go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, right? That's what we've been working on. Or is it chapter 4? Let's go. I want to show you something. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Valava Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Listen to this Ecclesiastes chapter 3. We know this scripture by heart, okay? Says to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the sun. Now, listen to this now a time to be born and a time to die. Now, we've been dealing with that more so, a time to be born. But I want us to go to the next one where it says, a time to plan. Listen to this now. A time to plan. Now go to Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. I want to show you something. We're not going to be believers who are going to be running from one prophet or one house to the next or one church to the next because we know the word. Okay, because Ecclesiastes is telling us that to everything there is a time. You know, there's a time allocated for everything. Genesis chapter 4, verse 1 says, Now Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain and said, I have acquired a man from the Lord. Then she bore again, this time his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep. Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord in the process of time. When Genesis chapter 4, time has kicked in. And the Bible then says, Sister Katriana, in the process of time, Sister Lashon, uh, the Bible tells me then that there is a time to plan. <laughs> The one who understands time or is born into time, what is now, plants. 
And in the process of time, what is now, when he harvests, he understands that the controller of time deserves to inspect the fruit, the harvest. And so before I'm going to do anything, what is now, I'm going to take what belongs to the one who controls time and offer it to him as a burnt sacrifice. Uh, I don't know if I can go there. Because I gotta pray, I gotta get ready to go to this meeting. Uh, you know, Uber works in Ghana, right? So I can now jump in an Uber. I can call Uber and Uber will come to the house and will pick me up. Before I have to go by the roadside and give me a taxi. Praise the Lord for Uber. In Jesus' name. Uh, uh, hmm. In the process of time. Sister Carol, yeah, sure. I think they've been here for about a while now. So I got them on my phone. Vele Voicea. Praise the Lord for Uber. Labra Scutabasia. The controller of time. Time in his hand. It's in his hands. Mm. In the name of Jesus. In the process of time. Listen to me. When you learn to operate or to understand time, what is not, it will never work against you. And that is the one that I'm going to put into your spirit this year. Listen to me. Don't rush. Just like Adriana, we praise the Lord for them. Don't rush. Don't try to get ahead of yourself. Veko vasi. Veko vasi. Veko vasi. Vobro shebere biosa. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Oh yeah, they're in Ghana. La Tabasia. Vekova Sividiviosha. Nabro. You can never cheat time. Hiba Shoto. Let's look at athletics. Okay, athletics. Most of the people who have been caught or have been suspended or have been ejected from athletics. Most of the time you have the hundred meter runners. Ben Johnson, classic example. Ben Johnson, Sister Jackie uh, Gillespie, run, I think, 9.85. You're talking about the 90s. Run so fast. Afterwards, they tested him and they found out that he had taken anabolic steroids in those days. And those steroids, according to the scientists who operate in that sphere, have aided or had aided Ben Johnson to run faster then he would be able to do what is now under or just with regular training. And so he was thrown out of the sport. Now, since that time, there's been drugs, cheese all over, you know, across the board. Now, the purpose of, <laughs> of cheating when it comes to, as it, uh, relates to athletics is what just now because I have at least 10 people and we are all in competition and this competition is to find the fastest man or woman in the world who can run under 10 seconds if you want to stand a chance of winning you got to be able, in, even now, more so to run just over nine seconds. The record just keeps going down. Uh, but if I want to cheat time, then Sister Lashan, I'm going to give me some drugs into my system. Whole bunch of people in the body of Christ trying to cheat time. Should I go there? By getting a whole bunch of what we call spiritual directions or prophetic directions into their system. It's tantalimous to cheating, Sister Cheryl. Sister Brenda. He basha vikuvasia. Oh, I'm there, Sister Amanda. You know me. You should know your brother by now. I've been there. I just went in there. I just went to that zone. And that is what we're having. We have doping in the pulpit. 
and we have doping in the pew. Kavasia. He bosha vaka libro sikapa zalava sikovosia. My God, because what is now one of the most hated words in the charismatic Pentecostal church movement as we have it now, one of the most hated words, Sister Dr. Nikisha, is the process of time. One of the most hated words is the process of time. Because it don't fit into my vocabulary. My God, it doesn't match up to what I want to achieve. It doesn't match up to what I want to do. So there is spiritual doping. My God. I said there is spiritual doping. And you know, see there's about 10 people running. But then one or two are doping. Dr. Nikisha and you and I, Sister Cheryl, who are ignorant. See, <laughs> by God, Sister Cheryl, Sister Brenda, Dr. Nikisha, you and I, all we know is this. And Sister Jackie, this is what we live by and we swear by. And we live by this book and nothing else. And not only that, we are scared of God. Am I making sense? Uh, and so, we are sitting down in the same church as this folk. On the pew with the same people. And what is now? Every single time it looks like what is now? They are ahead of us in every area. Finance is ahead of us. We all started the church together. But today, they're married. My God, they've got a house. My God, they've got the children. My God, they've got the business. And you're sitting down and you feel as though what is now, even though you are both, you know when they're getting ready to run, right? You know when they put, what's that thing called? You know, on your marks, get set, Sister Patricia. You know like, hey, God. Vavasia. See, you think, okay, Sister Katriana, you think that because we're both on the floor, you know, going, on your marks see on your marks we're all on the same level am i making sense so there is no cheating on your marks not only that the what is that thing that they you know on your mark you know them things that i don't even know you know them things that they you know they put their feet in okay the blocks thank you okay now the blocks are also very sensitive as you know because sometimes if you move too early before the dam, what is now, the blocks or the computer that's been connected to the blocks will signal that Brother Albert went before the gun was blasted. So guess what? They will recall everybody back. And I think if you do it twice, you get disqualified. So, <laughs> Sister Cheryl, they're sitting next to us looks like they're praying the same prayers looks like we're fasting or they're fasting just like us <laughs> and we're saying sister cheryl is like hold on a minute god what am i doing wrong why is it that you're favoring so and so more than me why is it that we're training at the same altitude we have the same coach that is a preacher we have the same diet. We eat everything. You know, the same. Looks like it, the Bible. But what you don't know is that the blocks that you're starting the race from, when you see them, is not their starting place. My God, am I making, am I making sense? Their starting point, what is now, is about four or five steps ahead of you because of the drugs that is in their system. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, some of the most dangerous people that we have in the church, when they see you struggling, Sister Patricia and it's like, Sister Cheryl, I don't know, I don't know if you've ever encountered such people, because they know what spirit they're operating with, right? They see you struggling and, you know, sometimes you even go to them like for them to help you. And 
And it's like, because they know that they're using an alternative, you know, source, they be like, just hang in there, brother. God will come through for you just like he came through for me. Sister Katriana, oh, God will come through for you just like he came through for me. But they know deep down in their heart that what they're saying is a lie. Because they know that the God that you serve of the Bible is not the one who has blessed them. He, Bosha, Vava, Su, this fasting is doing me good. If the Lord will keep me, I will carry on for as long as possible. Listen to me, I keep saying this to you over the last couple of days. And I've been doing this, I mean, for about a couple of years now. I'm beginning to question what is now a lot, a, a lot of things. And I'm also beginning to redefine. Because let me tell you something. If you are going to qualify somebody as a man of God, a woman of God, or one who's being blessed, based off upon what you're seeing physically, then you've missed it. Because the prophets who sat at the table of Jezebel were just now ate better food than what the ravens and those unclean birds gave to Elijah, whom God had instructed to go to that specific place. Vabosha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So arise and be blessed by our praise and our prayers. In the name of Jesus, we release the fire of God. We release the hand of God to work. We release the fire of God to work in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on. I got to get ready to go to this meeting, okay? And I need to keep, come back and give you feedback. So I want us to pray this prayer. Listen to me. I keep saying this on this Friday. I want it to register in your spirit. My God. You know there's a saying or you hear people saying, it's not over until God says it's over. Unless you can prove to me the day when you heard God tell you that I can't do this for you, it's over. I can't do it. Then I still want you to believe that if he spoke in it, then surely it will come to pass. Come on, let's put this up in prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, we thank you, God, for your great rewards and for your great words, for encouraging us and for bringing us to a place of prosperity in the world. Father God, we have because of you. We are blessed because of you. We are touched because of you. Your spirit is with us because we are your children. We want you to lay your hands on us, Father God. We want you to keep your hand on us in the name of Jesus, Father. We don't receive barrenness. We don't receive barrenness. We don't receive barrenness in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't receive, we don't subscribe to that channel called barrenness in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't surround ourselves, Father God, with those who are doping in the things of God. Oh, but Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up the standard, ah, the standard of Christ, Father God, for we know that time is not working against us. But time is working on our behalf. Velo 2018 is a year of our time, God. We will understand time better and better. In the name of Jesus, we will understand it better and better. In the mighty name of Jesus. Huba, Shaba, Ikavra, In the name of Jesus, we decree it. We command it, so shall it be. We say, so shall it be. We say, so shall it be. And so it is in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, love you as always from my house to yours. Thank you for those who came out to pray last night or early this morning by me. It was fantastic. It was magnificent. God truly moved. God blessed us as always when we come to that place of prayer. Okay? God bless you. Thank you for your giving. Those of you who gave at the end of uh, last month, okay? Thank you so much for being obedient. In Jesus' name, let us trust and believe in God. 
Let us continue to support this vision and this ministry. You know your brother. You know what I stand for. You know me. You know my hands are clean. In Jesus' mighty name. Says Amanda, don't wonder about why you don't get it. Put it before God. Ask God for his opinion. In Jesus' name, he's worthy. Deserving all the glory. Deserving all the praise. Deserving all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, my God, in Jesus' name, we bless his name. We magnify him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, okay? I'm so blessed to know you as my brother and my sister. I don't take it lightly. You mean the world to me. And I pray that you're happy to have me in your life. Okay? We're together in this. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Listen, you see what is happening in Boston and all them places? It just lets you know that, listen, no matter how advanced we think we can get, when God gets ready, you see, there's people's cars that are, I've never seen this before. You only see it in movies where the car, you know, the water or the rain has frozen and the car is stuck. The car is stuck. The water fountain, the water is frozen over. We only used to see it in movies. Now it's becoming real. Huh. We bless the name of the Lord as always. In Jesus' name. We love him because he first loved us. Valabasia. Boshebe Kaba. Zizu Vidikibiasa. Lamb of God, we worship you. In Jesus' name. Amen. All is well on this side of the world. The baby is well. He's sleeping. He's good. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for your prayers and for your giving and for your support. And yes, the care that you show towards me and my family. I appreciate you. I really do. Thank you, okay? God bless you. I'm going to come back and give you a report on the, uh, on the, on, on the farming, okay? I'm going to come back and give you a report. And I, I don't want you to be... Some of you, the Lord told you to do some stuff, you know, last year. Some of you emailed me and it's like, it just kind of like, you lost interest in it, okay? Don't, don't, don't let that happen to you. I know we all get there every now and again. But, you know... Look at what God told us to do. We started something and it's growing. Okay? It's growing. So, you know, uh, God said commercial farming. You understand? Mr. Farah, thank you. I will do that. You know, God said commercial farming. I don't know how it's going to be happening, but I believe it's going to happen. He will order our steps. Okay? He will order our steps. In Jesus' name. Amen. Love you all. I'll see you tonight. Okay? I'll, listen, are you okay with the switch? You know, like the evenings, you know, we don't know what time we're going to come on. We just come on. Is that okay? Are you okay with it? We've got to learn to switch up on the enemy. You know, got to switch up. Do you understand? That's cool. Okay, we're going to keep doing it. So as long as you get the, you know, the notification, boom. You know, the devil won't be able to track us. Amen. Okay, so that's good. So we're going to keep doing that. God is good. Really, God is good. Okay, in Jesus' name. You didn't get a notification? Oh, you got your notifications on? Okay. So do that, okay? So come on. Okay, and then we just pray. And listen to me. I, and I keep saying this. Be honest. You know, if prayer is not helping you, tell me. Be honest. You know, nobody's going to say anything to you. It's you. You have your, you know, you can speak your mind. You know what I mean? You know? Six days in, last year we prayed, and look at what God is doing in our lives, okay? So, you know, if you know prayer is helping you, you know, just, just keep, you know, just, just, just get before God. I see a lot more churches in America now beginning to pray. I'm seeing a lot of it now, they're beginning to pray. You know, people get tired after a while of all the gimmicks and all this stuff. Do you understand? I see a lot of people now praying because they see the value of prayer. You understand? So you can't run away from it. You can't run away. You can preach and swim and shout. But trust me, if you don't have prayer back in, you're wasting your time. Okay, prayer is key. Especially in the world that we live in today, where you have 
two uh, leaders who, you know, you, you just can't tell what zone they're going to be in. And they have their fingers on nuclear buttons. We got to pray. You see what I'm saying? We have leaders who have fingers on nuclear buttons. We got to pray. One said, my nuclear, you know, my, my nuclear arms are bigger than yours. When was the last time you heard the president say that? So, you know, you know, we need to pray. We need God. We need God. Sometimes we take it for granted. We, we, you know, we feel as though it doesn't, you know, just something little can trigger. Just one false move. Just a demon jumping into somebody can cause a war. Okay? So we need to constantly be before God. Be before God. Say, God, it's not your will. If it's not your will, if it's not your will, then Father, it won't happen. You see, we, 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 you know, Dr. Nikisha, yeah, she's here. You know, sometimes we separate ourselves as if the things that are happening don't, con you know, don't concern us. Listen to me. God forbid, if, if, if nuclear dust, so to speak, gets into the atmosphere, you know, whole region, go check out about Chernobyl. You saw what happened in Japan? Is it that Fukushima plant when they had that, whatever, it was a tsunami? That whole place, nobody can live there that whole place it doesn't matter if your house was built and it cost five million if you was in that vicinity you can never go to that place anymore because it's contaminated it's contaminated you see what i'm saying so you know i always say that don't 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 think you're invincible because you possess xyz you know what i'm saying don't, 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 don't think that. Go to Fukushima. Look at Chernobyl. If you ever, you know, did hit, you know, school, you know, you, you, you know, you heard about Chernobyl. Nuclear reactor, I think some particles went into the air. People became deformed. Women were given birth and their babies had no arms, no legs. Strange deformities. You know what I'm saying? Just one false move. One of our sisters, I think, emailed me about a flight that she jumped on and they had to come back to the gate twice because they kept finding some faults. So trust me, you can't be ignorant. Okay? Check out Chernobyl. Check out Chernobyl. The amount of money that they're still putting to try and... I think they're trying to build some sort of like... Uh, what's the word? Like uh, some sort of roofing. I don't know what it's called. That's what I'm saying. So... You know, we can't be ignorant. That's why I said, don't worry about those who come and laugh and mock. It's okay. We're good. We know who we are. We know who we are. We ain't silly. We ain't stupid. We know who we are. We, we, our brains have been watched by Christ. Literally, they become ghost towns. Thank you. Nobody can live there. It doesn't matter if, you know, uh, the multi-million pound homes are there. You can't live there. You see how something so small, literally, can devalue and destroy property prices. Do you see that? So don't worry. Don't worry. Okay? Ghost towns. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Okay? So I see you tonight. Okay? Pray for me. Okay? The fasting is going great. I feel good. I feel God. I feel God. Okay, so thank you so much. God is with us. We will prosper. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye. See you later. Thank you.